So in this lecture, we're going to be talking about nullable. And if you've ever worked with Swift programming before, this is the same concept as optionals. Uh, I know this is in a, a couple of different programming languages, but do want to go over it here. We actually do touch on this inside of one of the Android apps, but I figure we've been rolling through. You might as well see what this is all about. So anytime you see question marks, exclamation points inside of Kotlin, that's usually because it's dealing with a nullable. And the basic idea is if I'm going to make something like uh, a variable for my age, I set it equal to like 28 or something. Uh, you know, I should be able to change this as much as I want. So all of a sudden my age is now 45. But if you want to make this nullable, this variable here nullable, that's so that you can eventually say something like age is equal to null. And it's sort of your way of saying uh, it's equal to nothing. And you might be wondering, well, like, why would you do that? Well, we typically see it in functions where it's a way to say that, you know, something hasn't been set up yet, or maybe something went wrong. There's all sorts of different situations for this. Um, but in order to make something nullable, for example, because this variable, uh, this is a int variable. If I wanted to make it a nullable int variable, I have to specify here that this is of type int and then just simply put a question mark after it. And then all of a sudden this code becomes valid where I can say, okay, age is now equal to null and I can sort of move on from there, all right? So you can make any type that you want nullable. In fact, you know, if we had made like uh, our dog class, for example, and uh, we go ahead and create a dog object, var my dog, uh, I could specify that I want this to be a dog nullable so that when I create a new dog object at some point if I want to say you know what dog you are no longer existing I can set it equal to null uh, that's totally valid okay so you might be wondering okay well how is this going to affect my code like what do I need to know in order to work through this well uh, something to note here is let's say for example uh, you want to turn something unnullable you can do that by saying age uh, in this case, which is nullable, and then do two exclamation points after it. And that's why if you're saying, uh, I'm gonna turn this into a non-null, I guess it's calling it non-null uh, assertion. But um, you know, just to kind of prove what's going on here, if I say create a new variable called like new number, and I set this equal to age, as I type, start typing out new number, uh, you can see over here that its type is an int nullable. But if I say age, when I first set something into new number, if I do age, exclamation point, exclamation point, now when I type out new number, it's just a straight up int object. So that's kind of how uh, that can work. Uh, you can unwrap nullables uh, if you want to, you know, check and see if something is null or not. Probably the most typical way to do something like this is you say, all right, if in parentheses age is, uh, you know, not equal to null, uh, then you can go ahead and in parentheses write some code. And it's in this situation that you're then safe to say something, you know, like age, exclamation point, exclamation point, because now you know for sure, okay, this thing is not equal to null. So when I put the two exclamation points there, I know for sure um, that there's an actual number inside of there and it's not equal to null, okay? Uh, so those are the basics. Uh, what I'm going to do for you is just provide a very simple challenge. Uh, I really think you're going to want to see what nulls uh, and nullable stuff looks like in the quote unquote wild as you program, as we work through our different projects. One example that I guess I'll show you before a challenge here is let's say I make a dictionary or a map. I keep referring to it as a dictionary, but let's say, you know, the variable dogs uh, map, and I'm going to set this equal to map of and uh, I'll provide something like, you know, Fido to, and then do the age. This is kind of an example we had earlier, right? So let's say I try and pull something out of this dogs map, uh, but I give it a key that doesn't exist. Like I just try to pass in something like ABC. Uh, if I go ahead and print what's gonna come out of here, you'll notice that it will be a null because uh, this is kind of a good example of that where, you know, a map says, hey, you pass me a key here, ABC, that doesn't exist inside of this map. So I I'm not sure what to give you back. So it gives back null is sort of its way of saying that thing does not exist. And you can really see this if, you know, we put this into a new variable where we assume this would be something like 
the dog age you know is equal to this if we check out uh, the type of dog age you can see that is an int nullable because it's saying well I'm, I'm not for sure if that you know is going to come through or not so that's kind of one I guess more concrete example that you can look to uh, for that so uh, my challenge for you here is I want you to make very simply a string nullable that's it uh, just want to make sure you know what the syntax is and can move forward so go ahead and do that now okay so hopefully that went well uh, again all you got to do is take some sort of uh, string and set it to be a nullable um, so I'm gonna do like my fave candy which is equal to Snickers all right uh, but let's say you know I want this thing to be nullable I can just say all right you know what this is going to be a string nullable uh, and then it for whatever point let's say I'm going on some sort of crazy diet where I don't eat sugar I can now all of a sudden say I don't have a favorite candy anymore because I don't eat that uh, but hopefully that never comes for me because I love candy okay all right so that gave you a nice little introduction into nullable uh, again one more lecture here to talk about kotlin and java how you could integrate it into an existing project uh, and we'll talk about that in the next one